Hello, this is Dr. Michael Edwards, founder and CEO of BioInfo Solutions, a data analytics company based out of Parker, Colorado. This entry is part six in a series of instructional videos detailing a meta-analysis on eight different human gene expression studies looking at papillary renal cell carcinoma. In this installment, I use Illumina's base space correlation engine to analyze the 130 genes overexpressed in the more severe forms of this cancer. I also demonstrate how to compare our gene list to the approximately 22,000 different curated studies in the Correlation Engine database, as well as go over the body, pharmaco, and knockdown atlases associated with this bioinformatics program. A text file containing a list of clustered genes, along with their normalized full chain scores for each comparison, can be downloaded at a Google Drive link provided in the description of this YouTube video. In our previous video series, we had selected our cluster of 130 genes that we found were upregulated in the type 2 versus type 1 papillary renal cell carcinoma. Again, the type 2 is the more severe, uh, worse survival outcomes than type 1. Um, once we had selected these genes, we then made a list of them using Partex Genomic Suite and then copied and pasted them into the networking platform String, which is a free product, and Pathway Studios, which is a commercial product for bioinformatics analysis. Today, we're going to continue our bioinformatics analysis of these 130 genes, but today we're going to use a different program to analyze this. Uh, we're going to use Correlation Engine. So this is the program we actually use to gather all the metadata. Uh, the advantage of Correlation Engine is that it takes full change information. Uh, it also considers the ranking of that full change, so it'll put more emphasis on those genes with higher full change. And it will actually compare our gene list to all the other gene lists that it has in its database. So we're actually pulling biology from actual studies that are done rather than the text mining that a lot of the other programs do. So in order to analyze this, what we're going to have to do is get some full change information for these 130 genes. And to do that, we're going to go back to our analysis tab. Given down below are the 130 genes that we isolated in our cluster, along with the normalized full change for each one of the 17 different comparisons in our meta-analysis. As I mentioned before, Correlation Engine takes full change information. So what I'm going to want to do now is come up with a way to basically summarize all this full change information and make it one value for each one of the genes in my meta-analysis. To do that, the, there's actually several different ways. I'm going to show you the way that I chose to represent the full change. Uh, we just go to Partex Genomic Suite menu and we collect, select Stat. Uh, we then go to Descriptive, and I'm going to select Row Statistics. Um, you could take, say, the mean or the median of all that full change information, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sum of all that full change. That's going to be my representation of not only the direction of, of where these genes go compared to the control, but um, in the magnitude of that. So I'm going to select Sum. I want that in a child result spreadsheet. And I'm going to hit OK. Yes, overwrite that. So after doing that, here is our final list. Again, all of our genes are 130 genes with the sum of the normalized full changes for all 17 different comparisons. What I'm going to then do is save this as a text file. And we will upload this. As I save that as a text file, we will then upload it into Correlation Engine and see what that program has to say about the biology. It's got some really unique things um, about it. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of show you what that can do for your experiment. And again, it's a little different in the fact that it's using the actual data in its database to draw its conclusions rather than text mining a bunch of publications. So we will do that right now. 